the attack dogs. No, back, 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 back. This is a review of the miniature pincher. Would you like? Doesn't that look ferocious? It looks absolutely ferocious. The miniature pincher. A bone-headed little dog. <laughs> Could you imagine trying to hit that with your gun? Let him calm down a little bit, and maybe... As you can see, they're always watching. The miniature pincher. And that's Apollo. Apollo man. And you can see the size distance. That, that dog there eats as much as three of those. So if you're wanting watchdogs for prepping, that right there is better than that. However, that is better at hurting animals because the cows look at that and say, what are you, a mosquito? But at least uh, that right there can move the goats and the uh, cows along. Isn't that right, Apollo? You get, you're, not, you're not very scary to the animals, are you? No. So the miniature pincher is much better at a, being a watchdog and uh, you don't have to worry about uh, liabilities. Face it, if a bad guy comes up, uh, I don't care how big your dog is, that dog is dead. If somebody is truly intent on doing you harm, the first thing they're going to do is take out your dog. So your Rottweiler is just a bigger target. At least with him, Rex, get out of the way. At least with him, he's harder to hit. Unless you have a shotgun. So bad guys better bring a shotgun to go after these, uh, these little bitty dogs. As you can also see, they're much more muscular than a, uh, than a Chihuahua. Look at those muscles in there. So if you had to eat them, they would be much more muscular. They can also hide in weird places. As you see them there, hiding under the truck. <laughs> and there's a good shot of some muscles right there. Look how you won't see that muscular stuff in a Chihuahua. Now, I can't get these to quite cooperate, but when they walk, uh, Miniature Pincher has a special gait too. They, they kind of like they have a high stepping gait. I call it prancing. When they walk, they actually prance. Some other things you should know about the miniature pincher. Uh, due to their, how would you say, fearless attitude, kind of like a Jack Russell. They really don't know that they're small. And they have a tendency to take on dogs much, much bigger than they are. Uh, they do not have a concept of their size, so they tend to get hurt a lot. And uh, you have to watch them if uh, anybody else brings uh, one of their dogs around. Another thing is that they do shed. So a weekly bath will uh, help keep the shedding problem under control. Also, uh, their personality uh these dogs are not for everyone. They make excellent traveling dogs. I have yet to see a miniature pincher uh, suffer from uh, car sickness. But you'll see many of these uh, type of dogs and 
also Jack Russells in uh, big trucks riding around the country because uh, they make excellent traveling dogs. Like I say, they don't suffer from car sickness, but their their strong-willed attitude, uh, if you do not have an alpha personality, uh, that little bitty dog will try to take over your house. So uh, you definitely have to... Uh, have to have an alpha personality to deal with one of these uh, little strong-willed dogs. Other than that, uh, as far as a prepping dog, they don't eat much, and they give a lot back. 